today back with another video and this one is showing you guys how I made this dreadlock wig updated tutorial version so all hair products are provided by samesbeauty.com these are the products you're going to be using for the hair and we're going to start off here with this wig cap so as you can see I've t-pinned the frontal down because we're I mean not a frontal closure down we're using closure for this video and I'm showing you guys how I have sewed um the crochet dreadlocks onto the wig cap so I'm not actually crocheting it on I'm sewing it on I felt like I would do that because I noticed that with my last dreadlock wig I made, I didn't really like how thick and, and, and bumpy it was. And I've noticed that when you crochet hair on a wig, it kind of gives off that very like full, full look wig. Like that wiggy, wiggy look and I didn't want that. So I realized that when you sew on um, the crochet dreadlocks onto the wig cap, it does look better. It looks flatter, it looks a bit more natural. This is not a weave tutorial video, so if you don't know how to weave, I don't really suggest that you kind of figure it out here. You might want to go to another video, but really it's about the same thing. Um, when it comes to the process of this, I feel like this took a while just because I started and stopped this wig a lot. I also want to point out that you want to make sure that you spread out these crochet locks throughout the wig. You don't want to put too many dreadlocks close together because it'll start to look like really packed and then that's when the wig will be heavy, but thank God the wig's not heavy. Now, we're on to the closure part. So I bleached this closure. It looks bad. <laughs> don't, I, you know, the closure that I got from this, I guess, wasn't that good of a closure. I did get from Sans Beauty as well, but if you want a cheap closure, then this is your... Then this is what you go with. I'm gonna point out to fix that orange brassy color. I just used some eyeliner, some black eyeliner, and I just colored that shit in real quick. <laughs> what I recommend is that you guys get a kinky hair closure because that'll be more realistic and it'll look more like um, the wig itself as opposed to what I got, which is like some Brazilian closure that I got from Sims Beauty as well. It was cheap, so that's good. But as you can see here, um, I cornrow the hair back just as you would if you were regularly crocheting um, hair. This is the part where I crochet the hair onto the cornrows. So I just, um, like I said, cornrow the hair out back. I made about three or four braids and then I just crocheted it on. Those four braids that I created on the closure, I'm now braiding them together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew it together. And then um, when I sew that onto the cap, I'll then crochet some more locks on that braid that I made that I sewed together. I hope this is making sense. That way no one will see that little corn roll that I made because I have crochet locks covering that. And voila ladies, this is the final look. This is how I did my updated dreadlock wig tutorial in these corner style please 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 if you like this video make sure you thumbs up leave it in the comments if you want to see more videos like this and feel free to give me some suggestions i'll see y'all next time peace